Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you some advanced options for 3D plots in MATLAB. Now, I have a video under the playlist uh, MATLAB that is called uh, 3D plots, and it's a long video with lots of details, but here I'm just focusing on advanced options. So, uh, for many of these uh, plots, I use this uh, function, 3D function, with lots of uh, parts for the criterion, which is a nice function. It has a bunch of uh, minimums, maximums, and saddle points. And I'm going to use that. So here I have created the function. And now uh, the first thing I want to show you is a surface plot. So surf or surf plot, not just surface. Surf plot, if you do it regularly, it is going to create a um, plot for you. And um, let me do it here so we can see. And the figure is opaque, okay? So you see here, it's opaque. You cannot see anything behind it, okay? And you might change the shading by from this one, which is called faceted, to flat or interp, right? So you can do that one. But still, nothing changes. You are still looking at an opaque plot. So in order to change that, if you want to make it transparent, you choose this value called face alpha, which goes from 0 to 1, and uh, when it's zero, you have a very transparent plot. And when it's one, it's completely opaque. So here I go with 0.5, which is kind of semi-transparent. And if I plot it again, you can clearly see here, right? If I do the shade in TERP, then you should be able to see the grid lines behind it. Okay, you see here? So this face alpha is one of the options to make your uh, surface plot uh, transparent. The other thing is the um, uh, color map that you have here is the default color map of MATLAB where the low values are kind of cold colors, blue and so on. And as you go up, the uh, higher values are kind of hot colors, yellow, orange, and uh, toward red. But that's not the only color map you have in MATLAB. There are lots of different color maps, so you can change them by calling them and giving the name that you want. And you can even add a color bar on the side to see which value corresponds to what color. So look here, if I add a color map on the right, you see here it shows me each color corresponds to uh, how much of the height. But again, as I said, that's not the only color map. If you just search color map on MATLAB, you see there are different color maps here that you can use. You can even define your own color map by providing a matrix. But here I want to show you another one, maybe autumn, which is an interesting one. And it's the appropriate season right now. So here, instead of this one, I use the autumn color map. And you get this color map, right, which is mostly orange, yellow, and red. And so this is one thing I wanted to show you for a surf plot. So we have seen color map, color bar, and face alpha. The next thing we are going to uh, look at is uh, image SC plot, which is basically uh, it can, uh, if you have a function like this, you can just pass to it your Z values or your uh, dependent variable and it will kind of uh, show you a flattened version of that surface as an image. So let me show you that here. So this is this one. And you know what? Let me bring the other one so we can see them side by side. Okay. So this is that one. And maybe I don't do that color map. Let me just uh, do this so this is that surface that we had and this is the image sc as you can see this and this one are uh, similar if i rotate it you can see that better something like this okay and you probably need to go under the part to see it better okay so now if i rotate this this way should be able to see that uh, image SC thing. You see here, so it's kind of like a top view of the surface. That is image SC. So it converts it into an image for you, basically. That's what it does. 
and I wanted you to see this. Now here I use a different color map called Bone, which is an interesting uh, color map. And I use the view command to see that the specific angle. So here is a different color map. Okay, so this is image C command. The next command that I want to show you uh, is uh, the next three commands are all contour plots, but with different uh, basically appearances. So the first one is a simple contour plot, which is really a 2D plot, although you need all three variables. And then I use the show text to see the value. In the next subplot, I use contour F, which fills the contour sections. Okay, this is very interesting command. So the contour just shows the lines. Contour F fills in the areas of sections. And here you can see using how many color levels to fill it. And the last one is called Contour 3, which is the same as Contour, but it's really 3D Contour. Okay, so here, if I show you these guys, take a look. So again, this is on the same function that I showed you earlier. This is the Contour. This is Contour 3D, and this Contour is like just that Contour 3D when you look at it from the top. So here you see it's completely a flat curve, right? A flat uh, contour. But this one, as you can see, is really 3D, like really uh, cutting that surface with different horizontal planes. Okay, and again, if you look at this from top and you probably rotate it like this, you'll see the same thing that you saw with that one. But as I said, this is like a, a 3D version of Okay, and you can specify how many contour levels do you want, you want, but this is my favorite. This is the same as that, but filled. Okay, so here I'm using 10 different levels and I'm filling it. Okay, and a color bar would help to see the height at different colors. So this fill contour is an interesting command that I wanted to show you. The next command is called surface. So this is different than the surf command, okay? And uh, one of the options that the surface command has that I really like, although it generates basically the same thing as surf, you can pass to it an image and it's going to overlay that image onto the surface for you. Okay, so that is a beautiful option. So here I read an image into MATLAB from a grassland using the image read command, I am read, and then I'm going to overlay that image instead of a, a color, basically, map, instead of C values, I'm passing that image to overlay the surface, and then here I'm asking it to uh, use a face color texture map. The reason you use this is because the dimension of this matrix and the dimensions of X, Y, and, and X and Y are not necessarily the same, so with this option, you're allowing the dimensions to be different, and I'm not uh, needing any edge color, and I'm directly mapping my C data, okay, from the image. So if you use this option here, it should overlay that grassland image onto the surface up and down, and it creates a beautiful picture. So this is really one of my favorite commands. Look at that. So here is that same surface that we had earlier, but you clearly can see that the grassland, okay? So this is the picture of the grass. Let me bring it for you. So that's this picture, okay? And this picture is overlaid onto that surface I showed you earlier. And look, it creates all these beautiful hills with the grass. So this is absolutely one of my favorite commands here. Really, I really love this guy. Okay, then we go to the patch command. Patch and fill, basically doing similar things. And the goal of them is to fill inside a polygon with a specific color. And in order to do that, you need to pass to it the coordinates of the corners of that polygon in order of a connection. So what I do here, uh, I'm defining a bunch of different points. And uh, these are for different surfaces, different polygons. 
For each one of them, I'm defining the X values of the corners, Y and Z values of the corners. So each one of them, each one of these lines is for one specific surface, the X, Y, and Z of that. And then I pass them to the command patch with X, Y, Z and a color. And it connects all of those corners together and fill inside of it with this specific color, in this case, red. So if I use all of those points and create this figure, look what happens. I get the beautiful house. So here the corners are the corners of the roof, this tip point here and the points on the ground, as well as the four points on the door and on the window, right? And you can see that I have created a simple, beautiful house with windows, with door, with roof and everything. Okay, so this command patch can be really useful when you want to show more complicated objects for which you have all of the vertices or all of the corners, including the data that you can read from a 3D scanner, okay, or a CAD model. So if you uh, bring the data from a CAD model and read them in using the STL read command, then you can use patch to basically visualize the same object in MATLAB. So this patch command is very powerful. And uh, finally, the quiver plot. Quiver plot is a plot that shows a vector field for which the components are U, V, and W, and they are defined at points that are uh, the components of which are X, Y, and Z. So at the point X, Y, and Z, you have a vector for which the components are U, V, and W, and uh, you show that vector at that point, and there is Quiver and Quiver 3. Quiver 3 is the 3D version of Quiver. Quiver is just 2D. So here I define a simpler function and I'm going to show a bunch of vectors on the uh, points. Now you might say which points and which vectors. So here I show you another command. It's called surf norm. That's a beautiful command that at each point of a function it will give you the vector normal to the surface. So it extracts the vector normal to the surface at the point and give it to you as a vector. So now I can draw the normals to the patches of a surface made by the surf command. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And this is very good. Okay, so you can see here that I have different patches, right? And at each patch at its uh, bottom left corner, there is a normal vector here, okay? If you want, you could have calculated the midpoints of the patches and drew them over there, but here we are just doing it at the bottom left corner. And you clearly see that these normal vectors do make sense, right? You see clearly they are pointing in the direction of uh, normal to uh, the surfaces. Okay, so the surf norm command and the uh, quiver plot. This is really good for visualization of magnetic, electric, or fluid field, uh, uh, the streamlines, the potential fields, and anything like that. Okay, this is really useful. So hopefully all these advanced commands were useful to you for visualizing whatever you're doing in engineering or other applications. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.